Now we are going to go over how to have threesomes, foursomes, and even orgies. It is actually very simple to have sex with multiple women at the same time. What we are going to go over first is group dynamics. When I say group dynamics, I am referring to how many people are in the room with you, and who are they? For instance, the play will be different if there are two girls in the room with you. There could be three or four girls in the room with you. There could be four girls in the room with you and another dude. So, we need to figure out who is going to do what with who, and what are the relationships with each other. For instance, if there are five women total in the room with you and another dude, the dude is dating one of the girls, you are very good friends with two of the girls, another girl you don't know at all, and then the last girl seems to really not like being there at all. Get them all nice drinks, maybe fruity drinks, like a sex on the beach, but make it light so they don't get too fucked up. Heal the emotionally wounded in the room. You have to analyze the situation, because many situations are different. You might have to get the guy out of there, because if he is not down with you, and he is only there because his girlfriend is best friends with one of the girls, you might have a problem. You should only have to do that if he is a total dick. So something that works very well, and this secret I'm about to give you is probably worth about $50,000, is fusing different games together. For instance, adult games, such as board games, can be fused together with those types of immature games, like Spin the Bottle and Truth or Dare, to make a very potent mix. For instance, you could take Pictionary and turn it into X-rated Pictionary. Use of multiple video cameras can enhance this experience for everyone, making it a nuclear event. If you have two or more video cameras, give one of the video cameras to one of the girls. That is heavy. If you don't want to use games, that's alright. You can also use massages, or you can do dancing. Girls love to dance, and you know what? You might want to use some ethnic music, like belly dancing music or Latin music. Salsa music works very well sometimes. I want you to imagine that you're on a desert island with another woman, and that you are stranded there, and there's no hope of you being rescued. Now you and this other woman are very friendly with each other, and had been friendly with each other before you got stuck there, but you guys never had sex before and you had never even flirted before either. Now, we both know that there is a very good chance that you and this woman are going to hook up sexually. The reason? Because you are both human beings. Imagine that you had a video camera. What would you guys do with it? What would you take pictures of? You probably would take pictures of yourselves. Would you be wearing clothes? Probably not after they got dirty. Is anyone else besides you two people going to see this video that you take? I don't think so. Is she going to be afraid that anyone's going to see the video? Hell no. You wouldn't even need to direct it or persuade her to do anything on that video. You both would naturally be making a dirty movie. Now it's important that you understand your opportunity time window. A lot of the time you will have to assist with the clothing being taken off. It is important to have some type of clasp with a string attached to the clothing, and the clothing itself has been totally altered. You can use Velcro. Velcro is great. Cut a bathing suit in half on the sides and in the crotch. Cut holes in the butt of pants. Sew an inner lining into the pants. Fill a large sandwich bag Ziploc up with chocolate pudding, about four containers full. Now you need to cut a wide hole into the Ziploc bag, and it has to be as wide as the bag is. You flatten out the bag, and then put masking tape over the hole, alright? But you're going to need a fishing line going underneath the masking tape, and then going widthwise out through a hole in the back of the jeans that is mended with Velcro. When the time is right, pull the string. Now, please don't hate. You need to be honest. You're not living your life. You're not doing what you want. 
and you don't have the freedom to make moves, have success with your time, and get laid. Your life just straight up sucks up. You're not getting anywhere. We love to do for you what we do for our closest friends from high school. We really would. Give them a simple guide out of the darkness and solitude that haunted them. And literally, we gave them personal ballers experience. We gave them a time they would never forget. Vegas, Monaco, Italia, Greenwich Village, NYC. That's what it takes. You need to be thrusted into it, into the limelight, get introduced. In one hour, I can have you in a Lamborghini with a supermodel, your bank account packed with cash and a big bottle of pharmaceutical grade Viagra. Now let me tell you a story of our friend Richardo. Richardo was a very close friend from our high school days. We took him to Vegas. He got to be with his favorite star in real life. He now knows what it's like to be a baller. And when he hits me up on my cell phone and he tells me about how he just had a great time at the Yankees box, you know you had a part in that. We love to give back and pass down the torch.